Hello everyone, reporting today for First Updates Now, I'm Abhas, and with me here is Team 7463, Tiger Tech Orange from Michigan. They were the winning Lions captain at the Northwest Michigan State Championship, meaning they'll be one of the four Michigan State teams at the Houston World Championship later this April, and I'm really excited to jump into the robot. They have one of the cleanest transfer systems and processes that I've seen this season, and so I'm really excited to dive right in and more coming up on First Updates Now. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. Check out our all-new FTC content coming to Fund's YouTube, including new hosts from the FTC community. We'll have resource guides, top 10 moments, behind the bots interviews, and walkthroughs to help your FTC team improve at youtube.com slash first updates now. All right, guys, let's get started with your drivetrain. So most teams use the go build a mechanics. From my understanding, you guys are using a slightly different mechanic wheel. So talk about it, walk us through your drivetrain and how your experiences with it have been this year. Yeah, so we're using the new Andy Mark ball bearing wheels. Um, we did try to go build the wheels, and we found that these ones drive a little bit better for us. Um, they're a lot smoother, there's less static issues from the ball bearings in the field, there's less um, rubbing. Previously, we were using the old uh, Andy Mark mechanism wheels, which had some big static issues, and they were really hard to drive around with uh, straightening and all that. Yeah, so just like in the future, I know you guys have a sister team and stuff, so are they also using the Go Build Mecha or are they also using the Andy Mark Mechanics, or have you been able to see like some comparison between them using different wheels and you guys using the ball bearing based Andy Marks? Um, so our other team does use the Go Build the Wheels. Mm -hmm. um, there wasn't much of a difference. We did like um, the Andy Mark ones a little bit more just through our testing and through um, some static issues. Mm -hmm. um, the other team did seem to have a little bit more static issues in the ball bearings um, and the mic ones. Sure, sure. All right, yeah, let's uh, jump right into your intake. You guys have a lot going on, you know, many actuators and degrees of freedom. So can you guys provide us with an overview of your intake and then we'll jump into some specific parts. Okay. So our intake consists of our, our wrist, claw, and our arm, so our claw reaches down and grabs the cone, and we use these bands to to get a good grip on the cone, so you can uh, move it better. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. All of our, that we use for our entire intake, we use the DS Corliss, our uh -huh. 25 kilogram turbo. Yeah. And so uh, what sensors do you guys have going on with your intake? Uh, you know, do you have any cone detection methods or uh, just like encoder based? programming yeah so we use a two, me a two meter laser sensor mm -hmm. to find our so whenever um our horizontals extend out we use the two meter distance sensor um to um to see when the cone is in the intake or claw um once it's in it will automatically go back and finish the transfer if you have that intake Got it. Yeah. And so I know the two meter, or is that the one that has both the color and distance features or just you're using the distance uh, sensor? It's, it's just the laser distance sensor. Okay. It's not the color. Got it. Yeah. And I know you mentioned you have the horizontal slot. So how do you use them? Uh, how are they powered and you know, how does it work? Um, the horizontal slides are powered by two motors that um, we have connected to pulleys that then make it so they can extend out to how far we would like them to extend. Yeah, and so I see you guys also have a turret mechanism for your intake. So at what point in the season did you guys add that? Like, was that something you had the whole season? And how does it work and how is it powered? This is something that we have had for the whole season since our from the game last year, Freight Frenzy, we saw that many teams succeeded with their turret. So using that information from last year, we were to see 
that how well it would work with this year with our game and our strategy that we came up with at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. And how is it powered? Like, are you using like a Lazy Susan or just like a big bearing or how exactly does your turret turn? So we use a Lazy Susan with a five turn go build up servo. You can see that it can turn to any distance. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. And then, so are there any changes you guys made to your intake throughout the year that, you know, just really made it that much smoother, that much faster? Or was it something you just got right from the first time? So uh, in the beginning of the year, we had been using surgical tubing to grip onto the cone. Mm -hmm. So we found, we tested a bunch of different bands and we found that these ones were the best for grabbing the cone, even though they may look smoother. Uh, they... We found that they grabbed the cone the best out of all of our options. Uh, we just have to make sure that they uh, that we clean them often so they don't get too dusty and the uh, and the cone doesn't slip. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I think one thing that makes you guys so good and you know resulted in you guys being the winning alliance captain in Michigan Northwest was your transfer. I mean, it just does not miss. So talk about how it works. You know, that's some definitely very unique geometry you have there. Um, with the transfer bucket and if it's changed at all throughout the season. So at, at the beginning of the season, our transfer bucket was actually a little bit smaller and this resulted in sometimes having inaccurate cones being placed into our bucket like this or just they'd miss. So we made our bucket bigger and that made it so we're accurate almost all the time. And something unique about our bucket is being able to stay stationary on the field with our turret moving. We're still able to score a cone anywhere on our bucket. Mm -hmm. And then once our tur uh, once our intake and the arms come in, this is all. Uh, we have a demonstration actually, so we can see that this is all just one. So it's just initializing right now. Okay, so our robot will start by moving the arm down to the position to be able to grab the cone. Then mm -hmm. it'll extend out, so we don't have to. So our robot will stay positioned on the junction. So we so we have our arms ex, we have our linear slides extend out, so we don't have to move our robot off the junction and move position every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then your and, transfer sequence. Then it'll grab, so it'll grab the, so the claw will grab the cone, and then out, so it'll, so it can bring the cone up, then it, to this position to get ready to drop the transfer it into the bucket, so our linear slides will go back over the basket, or mm -hmm. funnel. So, then it'll drop the cone, and the tone, so it'll drop, the claw will drop the cone into the funnel, and our cone retention device will hold the cone in place, so we... So when we flip over, it won't immediately fall. Yeah, no, that, that's fantastic. And so, yeah. you know, after the Michigan State Championships, Michigan State was uh, in mid to late December, I believe. So you guys have had a lot of time to make some changes to your robot. What have those changes looked like? You know, what are you planning on bringing to the Houston World Championship? And what are some important takeaways you had from that? So um, we decided... Um, Early -er on the season of changing our robot, um, we knew that it was a little bit big. Um, so actually, this is our old turret plate, um, and it is the size of a whole entire bot. Um, <sighs> length and width. So we were able to make the newer bot a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. and, well, it's 13 and a half by 15 inches, so we were able to shave a lot of inches off. Um, we were basically like on, like when we went to go up, get our robot inspected, we were basically touching the box. <laughs> Got it, yeah. And I guess my last question is about your guys' deposit. How does it work? What automations do you have? Uh, and, you know, walk us through the linear slide system. So um, our vertical slides are the same slides but longer that are on our own horizontal slides, mm -hmm. the Masumi slides. Um, we found these ones to be a little bit smoother moving than um, some of the other ones. Previously, we had X-rails. 
rails. We previously had these X rails on here, but then we had changed to the Masumi slides that we previously had on the linear slides. So and then we, so then our bot could become skinnier because these are way thicker, and these are skinnier. And then on we put shorter slides here with that also have more sections. So and then we can still reach out as far with it being more compact. Yeah, got it, got it. That make that makes a ton of sense. And um, so in the future, like, are the Misumis what you plan on using for you know for the rest of the seasons that you can foresee, or are there any like problems with them that you would recommend other slides for instead? Probably just Misumi. They work quite well. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. All good. So yeah, I mean that makes a ton of sense. And so going into the Houston World Championship, what does your guys' autonomous look like? You know, what are you planning on being able to do? Um, and you know, is there anything else like any game strategy that you guys want to talk about? Yeah. So um, our autonomous, we're gonna. Our goal is to have an autonomous that goes in the world that can do all the cones on our stack on the high junction. Mm -hmm. We were also kind of um, thinking and we want to try um, moving to the other side of the field to uh, try to get the other um, stack as well if we ever needed to, if another bot didn't have an autonomous that could do it. Mm -hmm. um, we're also changing up our strategy um, during teleop. So we want to be, well, we built our bot smaller. This, or we, we built our bot to be smaller this time to be able to maneuver around the field um faster so we um a better bot for circuits yeah for sure it doesn't really increase cycle time but it can increase our mobility yeah no that makes a ton of sense tiger tech orange thank you very much for this interview i think you guys have a really fantastic transfer mechanism and really effective turret lift deposit just everything overall i'm sure you guys will do great at the world championship in just under a month so thank you so much for this interview. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm Ab Haas, and this is Team 7643 Tiger Tech Orange. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. Check out our all-new FTC content coming to Fund's YouTube, including new hosts from the FTC community. So we'll have resource guides, top 10 moments, behind-the-bots interviews, and walkthroughs to help your FTC team improve at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.